All right, greetings family. Uh, this is the historical home area of Kunta Kente from Alex Ellie Roots. So from James Allen, which is now Kunta Kente Allen, here we are in Jufri. Oh my God. Meroli. Meroli. Yes, my brother, show these circle pictures. I know you got some pictures of Alex Ailey. There you go, perfect. Yes. So, uh, I just want to make sure we show it. Alright, we see the next one. So, this is Binta Kente, sixth and seventh generation Kente. Oh, 1977, year old born. Yes. This is an original picture? No, no, no. 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 This is an original picture? And our guide is going to give us an introduction of where we are. So we have our guide here. Please, hey, we need to Hey, okay. Uh, now we are now in the Kudakinde family. Okay, this lady here is called Maria Mafofana, and the other man is called Usman Kinde. They are the eight generation of Kunda Kinte. Eight generation of Kunda Kinte. Eight. Eight generation of Kunda Kinte. Because Kunda Kinte was born here in 1750. His father was called Amuro Kinte. And the mother was called Binta Kinte. So when they got married, they have a child called Kunda. But Kunda was a Maningo man. Born here in 1750. In 1767, when Kunda was 17 years old, he was sent by his father to find a firewood, a place called San Domingo. That San Domingo was built by the Portuguese in the bush. When Kunda went there, he was captured by the Portuguese and they kept Kunda on the island. We are called Kunda Kinti Island now, before it was called James Island. So when they kept Kunda on the island, then from there, Kunda was transported from the island to America. That was July 15, 1767. July 15, 1767, Kunda left the island to Annapolis in Maryland. Yeah. So there's a man called John Walla. That John Walla was the slave master of Kunda Kinde. John asked Kunda to change his name, Toby. But Kunda denied the name Toby. Kunda said, my name was called Kunda Kinde. I came from Kambi Bolong. So Kambi means Gambia, Bolong means river. Means I came from River Gambia. That means Kambi Bolong. So John told him that it's a journey of no return. You are not going back to Africa. So it's better to change your name, Toby. But Kunda said, no. My name was called Kunda Kinde. I came from Kambi Bolong. So they kept Kunda in the plantation. Kunda was trying to escape, to run away. Later, the master came and decided to cut one of the toe. The toe was cut. And when the toe was cut, he was amputated. He cannot escape now. Then there, he decided to marry a woman called Belle. That Belle also, in Africa, we call it Fanda. It's a slave woman in the plantation. Kunda married her, and they have a, a daughter called Kisi. Then Kishi was the daughter of Kunda Kinde in America. And when Kishi was 18 years old, he was sold away from the father. Then Kishi was there. Kishi was raped by the plantation master. And the master was called Tom Lee. He raped Kishi and they had a baby boy called George, or Kicking George. That Kicking George, when he was a child, childhood, they liked to see a cock fighting. This was, this was most of them they called Kicking George. Then Kicking John also married Martina, Cynthia Irie, and they got Samuel, also got Alex Haley. So that Alex Haley 
was seven descendant of Kunta Kinte in America. So that Alexander came here in the Gambia in 1967 to make a research about his ancestor, who was called Kunta Kinte. He went back to America in 1972. That Alexander wrote the book. In 1977, he published the book and the movie in 1977. So since 1977 up to now, it become popular everywhere. And the title of the book and the movie is called Roots. This is why it became popular. This is why in 2011, they changed the island, Kunta Kinti Island. During the International Roots Festival, the government changed the island, Kunta Kinti Island, in 6 February. Because every two years in Gambia, we do survey international roots. Mostly, we survey the May, June. Mostly, May, June. We do survey them. So most of the people from America or other places, they used to come here to see their ancestors. So I said, it was a very good occasion. Okay? So I thank you very much for listening. So these are the pictures you can have. You can pass and look around. You can pass it and look around. Yeah. Uh. So yes, my good brother, would you like to share anything? <laughs> you and I came here two years ago. We just tried to more us coming loud because of what I'm feeling now. How can somebody take a human being to a known unknown land? You say he's not going back to the land that he knows. That is not at least that is evil. So we thank everybody still seeing the edge. People of Kuta Kinti are still sitting down here. And they also have a also have so this is a family that people never forget in our life. I'm just having tears right now in my heart. I'm feeling pain, but it still comes the same. Your own land, you gotta enjoy it. They say you cannot go back to your other land. So I'm praying to everybody in Africa, who's an African who will never be in Europe to be a European for the rest of your life, to come back to Africa and do something in Africa, come back to your motherland. However as long you stay in Europe, you will never be a European. So this is just painful. This means that we are still lagging something behind. So I'm very much grateful, Mr. Bomami, who is trying to be the CEO of this organization, working both day and night to make sure that people should change their mind and understand the view. Not a matter of just saying, ah, you're doing nonsense, you're not doing good. Come by yourself and feel, get the feeling. If you don't come and see, you don't get the feeling. So you are all welcome back to Africa. I appreciate you, brother and family. That's what the journey for a lifetime is about. It's about experiencing the experience to the highest level. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Bomani, I hope you're learning certain things, Mr. And welcome to Jufu. <laughs> Our family, so the journey continues, and we're closing out on our roots tour, and uh, we'll continue on as we get ready to sail back to Banju Port, uh, to Denton Bridge, or we'll sail back to Banju. <laughs> I'm going to get it.